Hey, hey, come here, come here, come here. I found exactly what I've been looking for here at Hooters. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to ring that bell icon so you'll be notified of any new videos that'll be coming out. Oh, and give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let me know. Is it bad? Is it good? Is it bad or is it good? Or is it double good? Man, I tell you, you ever seen anything so well polished and well defined? The curves all in the right places. Woo! Like an old man's heart. Boom, 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 boom. I gotta calm down and tell you about something else. We'll get back to that in a minute. If you remember, about a month ago, so do you remember this? So, what does a bag of M&M's in the sun in Texas all have in common? Oh, and a car. Subscribe now and find out later. Well, that was 30 days ago. That was on July 1st, so 31 days ago. You tell me what these things are made out of because they beat the Texas Sun Car Challenge. The sun and the car and the heat and whatever. Listen to that. They're still intact. Should we even open them? Should we give it another month? Listen. They're still intact. They are not melted. That is insane. What are these things made of? Let's check out the ingredients. Can y'all see that? Milk, chocolate, sugar, chocolate, skim milk, cocoa butter, lactose, milk fat, peanuts, soy le lecithin, Salt, artificial and natural flavors, sugar, peanuts, corn starch, less than 1% palm oil, corn syrup, dextrin, coloring, includes blue one, blue two, lake blue, corn, car, caribia, way, yeah, whatever this is, and gum, aceta, Santa? What do y'all think makes this the palm oil maybe? You think the palm oil is what keeps these from melting? Y'all know what the temperature has been here in Texas? And then how much hotter in the inside of a car? God, this is a bit of interesting information as far as M&Ms go. I don't know if you can see that or not, but if you can't, the reason they don't melt in your hand talking about M&M's is the candy shell the hard shell itself has a higher melting point than chocolate the colors not the actual shell which is white will actually melt off into your hand if you hold them long enough when they get warm the chocolate inside does soften and melt now check out this one will M&M's melt in the heat the temperature never quite reached 100 degrees but it was definitely hot it didn't take long for all the candy to start glistening and within five minutes the Reese's had already started melting the M&M's never did melt but they did crack huh well M&M's melt in your car since they're small, M&M's definitely have the potential to melt completely. 
but in the not too hot car for an hour or two they melt just a bit and become an even better treat than they were originally i'm no myth buster myth buster however as you saw where'd they go those are not melted those those are still you can't see them in the sun well you can see those i don't know you know what let's open them up because that one said that they'll get crackles on them so maybe that's what happened y'all hold on let me let me arrange this camera a little differently and by the way if you're wondering why i'm wearing a different shirt than it was a moment ago technically Shh, don't tell nobody but it's the next day I got busy last night and I got tired so I never got a chance to get back to it okay we're gonna open them we're gonna see if they have cracks are y'all ready for this oh did I say no I'm just joking let's find out oh man I hate opening them hmm Do we see any cracks? Do you see any cracks at all? They still have the M on them. Can you see that? Let's, I don't know what color would show up best. They still have the M on them. Are they still crunchy? <laughs> yep. Do they taste weird? Nope. Tastes like M&Ms. So there you have it, folks. It, this package of M&M's has lasted a month inside the car in Texas. Not in the garage either. This car sits outside under the sun. The only time this car is cool is when I'm in it. And the air... <laughs> that was pretty good. The only time this car is cool is when I'm in it. What I mean is the only time it's cool is when I'm in it because I have the air conditioner on. But uh, that's interesting. I wonder how hot the inside of a car actually gets. Let's Google that. Let's, let's Google that and see. Hang on. All right, I wrote, if it is 104 Fahrenheit outside, how hot is it in the car? That's right. How much warmer is it in a car than outside? It says, if you can see it, after an hour, on average, the temperature inside the car rises to about 43 degrees hotter than the temperature outside. The temperature inside the car generally peaks at about 45 to 50 degrees hotter than the temperature outdoors. Wow. So if it's 104, let's see, right now, what do y'all see right there? 108. If it's 108 and it rises 43 degrees, that means it can get up to 151 degrees in this car on days like today. And this is July, so most of our days are like that. And y'all see, my bad, I'll have to find that. And that's when it'll probably melt is when it gets down to where I don't want it to. But for real. <laughs> Green M&M's. <laughs> anyway. Uh -huh. Lost my train of thought. Hmm. I wonder how long it really takes the M&M's to melt in a car, if they ever would. You think they ever would? I don't know. Well, business is picking up here in the uh, Hooters parking lot. So I guess I'm going to leave the vicinity and go across the road. Find me a tree. Man, I wish we could get some orders. <laughs> Oh, I 
almost left. I'm just a second too soon. Hooters for 886, 2.5 miles. Let's do it. Well, I don't see, I don't see her. She's not here today. Man, hot too. Maroon. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all, wait a minute. Hold on now, I'm a married man. Y'all think I'm talking about a woman? <laughs> no, 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 no. Talking about this, check it out. Sorry to disappoint. All right, dropped off the Hooters at the Holiday Inn. I don't know if that really sounded right. It is what it is. You know what? You want to know what the MSRP is on that car? From, get this, check this out. I'm fixing to show you all the price and look what popped up. Raising Canes, 1308 for 4.3 miles. Order and shop on arrival. Let's do it. But before we get started on that, since it's right there, check this out. Can you see that? Yeah, no, your eyes, you're focusing right. 113,540 big ones. 565 to 600 horsepower. Could you imagine how much door dashing we could get done in that thing? Man, we'd be dashing everywhere. Woo! And actually, the gas mileage is not that bad. 16 in the city, 22 on the highway. Not that good either, but... Man, if you can uh, dash around in a $113,000 car, you know, I think you're going to worry too much about 16, 17 miles a gallon. Well, I'm not gonna make y'all wait around on this water, but it won't take long here. It's one of my favorite places, by the way. I think I've mentioned that before. I'm not saying the food is my favorite, but the people's personality, their speed and efficiency, they're spot on. Anyway, regardless if people make you mad or what they do to you, don't let them get under your skin. Brush them off, smile, and go on. That's it. Keep smiling. Be nice to them. They might have had a really bad day. Don't add to the bad day. Be a reason their day got better. Hey, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye for now.